All right, what's up animators? So today we're gonna make a shape tween. We're gonna make a star and then we'll change it into the shape of a circle. All right, so what I wanna use is the polystar tool right here. So by default, if I try to make a shape with the polystar tool, I'll get a pentagon, but I don't want a pentagon. I wanna make a star. Also make sure object drawing mode is off. You want this to be a shape. If it says on, if it says on it's gonna be a little different. So let me change shoes of colors here for my star. So I'm gonna click in here for the outline and go with like a grayish color. And then I'm gonna click inside here and I'm gonna go with like a silver color. Or let's go with blue, there we go. All right, it's a properties panel for my polystar tool. I'm gonna click on options down here. Cool, and I get the tool settings. So it says polygon five sides. So I'm gonna click on polygon, change it to star. So now we'll get a star instead of a polygon. So I'm gonna hit okay, I'll make my star up here. So I'm gonna start, I wanna make it in this corner, but I'm gonna drag from the bottom up. So I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button here, and I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna hold down the shift key, and it gives me a little bit more control, see? I'm gonna hold on shift as I do this. I'm gonna pull it up and release right there. Cool, so I got my star there. Now that's at frame one right here in layer one, and I wanna tween this, I wanna change shapes into a circle. So I'm gonna go over here to frame 30. I'm gonna right click in there and select insert keyframe. Make sure it's insert keyframe. There we go. So as you can see here, the little filled in circle, filled in bubble on each frame there. And that's letting me know there's a keyframe there. So at frame one, the key events that I'm a star. Then at frame 30, I'm still a star. I stay winning, baby. All right, so I'm gonna click right here inside this frame, right there, not the number. If I click the number, it's not really Selecting the frame, it's just moving the, the playhead over there. So I'll click on the frame right here below the 30, and that selects my whole star. It'll actually select whatever you have down here in your scene. So I'm gonna delete the star, delete. So my star is still there, but it's not in frame 30, it's from frame one to 29, the star is there. At frame 30, it's gonna be a different uh, moment here. So uh, uh, the key event here, the new moment's gonna be a circle. So I'm gonna click on the oval tool. And I'm gonna go over here to the right side, I'm gonna hold on shift and go up. Without shift, I get an oval, but if I hold on shift, I can create a perfect circle. And I haven't let go of the, uh, the left mouse button yet. So let go of the left mouse button once you're ready to commit. There you go, ready to commit there. If uh, you make a mistake, universal undo, control Z, Z is a zebra. All right, so frame 30, circle, frame one to 29, star. So I gotta tween this. So tween is short for in between. So originally in, uh, in animation, the main animators would just animate the keyframes, the key poses, and then later somebody else, an in-betweener, will animate the stuff in between the, the keyframes to get you to, to get the movement there. So if you go really fast, you can kind of see it, but it's not really shaking shape, it just kind of just jumps, right? So since it's in between, we're gonna have to right click here in between the two keyframes, right click anywhere in between the two keyframes in the timeline panel here, in that layer, and then select create shape tween. There we go, see it's already starting to turn into a circle. So I'm at the play button there, Bam, and go to frame one, play button, bam. You want this to loop, click on the loop icon there, and then go over here, hold down the left mouse button, get the double-sided arrow, drag, hold down, left mouse, hold down the left mouse button and drag, play button, and there we go, easy as that, from star to circle. And pause that. Uh, if you wanna do a color shift, you can do that as well. You can, you can have it change colors. I'm gonna go to selection tool, and I'm gonna select the last frame. So I'm gonna change the color here in the last frame. The whole thing's already selected. Let me just click inside of it here, click on it with the selection tool. And let's see, I wanna make the center of it red. We'll go with the red color. And maybe the outline, the stroke here with green. Or let me go with uh, yellow, yellowish. All right, so play button. You can see there, now we got a color shift added in there as well. It's easy as that. And then a save it file, save as. I would recommend save it as a FLA basic shape tween with color shift. Save. So the color shift isn't uh, isn't necessary, but you can add that in there. If you do a color shift, you would still do the tweening, right? So we could have had this not move at all, and um, just keep everything in the same place and just change colors. Even the shape could have stayed the same and just do a color change between the two key frames, the two key events. And then export the video and make sure those are not marked off. 
as a, has the same name as my save file. It's a movie file. Export. And there we go. Control Enter. Test it out. And there's my file there. So there it is. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.